The WSO2 Complex Event Processor is a high-performing and massively scalable open-source event processing server that identifies the most meaningful events within the event cloud, analyzes their impacts, and acts on them in real time. Here, you can write queries using an SQL-like query language, and CEP will match incoming events against those queries. Transport for London, or TFL, provides several real-time feeds about the London Transport Network. Let us use WSO2 CEP to analyze TFL data that contain details such as latitude and longitude of bus stops, travel times of buses, and traffic data. We will use the WSO2 CEP Geo dashboard to create queries for conditions such as speed alerts and traffic alerts and deploy them in WSO2 CEP. When the given conditions occur, CEP will write to a web socket. The dashboard will listen on this web socket and when events arrive, they will be shown on the map. We will now look at two scenarios. The dashboard will listen on this web socket and when events arrive, they will be shown on the map. We will now look at two scenarios. In the first scenario, the dashboard will show all the bus stops and bus movements. You can get more details like current speed, heading and bus number by selecting a bus on the map. The travel history of a bus can be seen in the tracking mode. The speed history graph of the selected bus can be seen on the right-hand panel. You can also search for a specific bus using the search option. There are several alerts which would be triggered according to the behavior of the bus. Let's begin with the speed alert. You can specify a value for the speed limit and the CEP Geo dashboard will generate a notification when a bus goes over that limit. When a new speed alert is set, a CEP execution plan with the shown city query is generated and deployed. This execution plan will generate notification events, which will be shown in the user interface. This execution plan will select buses, which are going over 35 km per hour from the data in stream, and insert into the data out stream with the state as alerted or normal and give information about the speed state. Similarly, there are proximity alerts and stationary alerts. You can select an interested region in the map using the geofencing tools. When a bus enters a selected fence, a geofencing within alert notification will be generated. Now let's take a look at the second scenario, where we will use the traffic congestion data given by the TFL stream. Selecting an area on the map will show the congestion areas marked in different colors, according to the severity of the traffic condition. You can get notifications on the traffic details of a selected location, or an area using the congestion alert. 
If the user defined area is within a congested area, it will generate a notification, giving details of the severity and information about the congestion. Apart from these scenarios, you can also build on existing toolboxes available in WSO2CEP to create your own scenarios.